before this video begins I'd like to give a huge thanks to my channel members who you can see on screen now. Become a member by hitting the join button and get your name here among other awards today. Hello there and welcome back to some more fun and mode support free today we're continuing on let's play this is episode 115 in today's episode we are taking a look at the class S Asian door for that we need a class S Asian car and the car we're using today is actually in our garage somewhere so let's scroll all across to there oh. and the car we're using today is the 2002 Mines R34 Skyline GTO 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 not GTO does, does it come in but different colours? But a meal. Does it pee? But a meal. Yes. That's not a nur. It is not a nur. But it is an N1. N1 stands for nur. One. N1. So none. Nuan. Oh, hey, do you want do you want the no wing one. but like slightly bigger? Uh, do you know what? We're just gonna run it as is, and we're gonna see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Anyways, Class S Asian Tour Class S cars compete on Japanese tracks. Who the fuck would have known? Will not be mm. this no thank you. And Twin Ring East Circuit is oh. first. <laughs> wow, such a diverse uh, track pool. Nissan shite line. <laughs> I'm getting G I'm getting three GT3 flashback. It's fine, we move on to the European Tour soon. Yes, but still. So we get to see Magello, Silverstone. Um, what are the European tracks are in this game? Um, Iberian, Ladera. Yep, yep. I can't oh, Camino, Camino, stuff, Vehu. never like now. And then we get the joy of uh, North America, which is going to have... Um, New York. New York, Road America, Road Atlanta. Road oh, hey, Atlanta. look. Hmm? Uh, it's all the tuna cars in the world have shown up to this event. Oh, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> so, it's basically the HK Zeros, the Mines, Skylines, and the Top Secret. Sylvia's. Yes. Also, when I don't have one pushing my rear arch into the dirt, we'll see how this goes. So what are we driving Someone now, gave boys? Yoshida a drift car. Everyone watch the fuck out. Oh, God! Mine's all three, four. Ooh, nice. Who's got the drift car? Yoshida. Oh, no. Uh, which Forza Motorsport game is better? One, two, or three? Uh, it's either two or three. I mean, it depends how you prefer your games, really. I'm on the I'd say two. Um. Well, I mean, two's a better one, and four's a better three. So. See, there was no point of upgrading this car. <laughs> Really, that's kind of like Gran Turismo because it's like two is a better one, three is a better four. <laughs> well, that's the wrong way round, I hope. No, huh? you got that correct way round. Uh oh. He said two is a better one, four is a better three. He said three is a better four. Six is a better five. But th then again, five and six kind of feel the same anyway. <laughs> Nothing is better than GT Sport. <laughs> Everything is better than GT Sport. No, that's Sport. what I meant, like literally. Nothingness is better than that. Also, hi. Hello. Hello. Ah, oh, shit. Who is it? I'm 15 minutes late for Doop Boopy Doop. What? Oh, dude! <laughs> this car has what? the hottest stereo on the market. What? Look at that amazing aftermarket Sony Hedge unit, bro. It looks like shit. I know. Hold on. As a, have you ever heard the song "Do"? No. <laughs> oh, you should. You should. It's fucking incredible. No. Like you, Azra. No. So, God damn it! God it. damn it! I had an emotional hour, past hour. Please let me be wholesome with you. What's up, gay? Holy fuck! 
would you like to talk about it in the company of me, you, your closest friends, and Did, eight of the finest people Strowman, on the internet? Does Braun Strowman no. plan on putting a bigger turbo in the fucking Supra? Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, no. oh, god. It's good now. Okay, good. Uh, it's true. Uh, that would have been your power. always need more power. This fucking, this fucking thing is huge. Oh no. Like the turbo is bigger than his hand. I find that very hard to so believe. He, so his new catchphrase is GET THIS BOOST! <laughs> and that's an all. Well, we can't say that. We've unfortunately lost a member of the real Emil family. Boost has died driving. I should to probably ask him how he is, shouldn't I? Oh. He died driving to work. Don't ask how, because he. Maybe he if some people doesn't have driver's license and his car's not really Isn't he like five? No. Me and him are like the only two straight people here. And Scotian. Anyway, the thing is. If the thing is in response, Chin. <laughs> also, I have a high doubt that Skoshin is straight. I think he's AMC sexual. He has a girlfriend. He's doing better than all of us combined. No, actually, I don't. Or how long have you had the girlfriend for? Gay Skoshin? relationships aren't real relationships. <laughs> Fuck oh off. my fucking god. <laughs> Neil, I. Someone's gonna make. Someone's gonna take that way out of context. Do you. Mate. Mate, sweetheart, fam, listen, right? <laughs> Do you not think there is enough content in the last, like, three LPs alone to make an entire 25-minute documentary series on Emil stuff out of context? <laughs> I, want to that. I, want to, I want someone to fucking make that. I'm too lazy. Or be the change you want to be in the world. Have any no, of you... Okay. Stop saying no. that, it's a shit. Have any of you been to Japan? No. Nope. Japan is nope. big game. Japan is cool. Lotus has been to Japan, Zulu but he's, yet. like, not awake because it's, like, 10 a.m. for him. I don't know for certain I wasn't awake at 10 a.m. today. I was, and then I went back to sleep like a little bitch. I was meant to be up at, like, 12, and then I went back to sleep and got up about 1. <laughs> But she didn't so hesitate to call Ice Cube the Top Gun. Pretty good. I'm glad to hear that, King. I took another I've sip of the potion, hit the free wheel motion. Oh, speaking I've of... Best, I built a fucking S2000 knockoff. Speaking of the girlfriend, mm -hmm. Emil, her grandfather's birthday is today. I'm so pleased you said oh. that. Bye. I was Bye. expecting you to say, speaking of the girlfriend, what? And you'd be like, I've just got a message from her breasts. <laughs> oh, that was that was, that was that was earlier. I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, at this point, it's sort of like, yeah, yeah. So, second response: Is that your truck in ten years? No, that's a Nissan. <laughs> uh, nice, classic. Yes. Ignore the bag. Yes, my yes, my uh, F one fifty will turn into a Nissan hardbody. Hard body. <laughs> oh, God. No, but, but will it have will it have an extra set of four wheels? I mean, I could probably turn into a dually very easily. A dually. Do you not see? Do you not see? Do you not see what's in response? Or are you I do. I'm just ignoring. It, I do. I just, I'm just ignoring the elephant in the room. Well, oh, shit. There's an elephant. Yeah, it's yeah. called the hell. Yeah, it's Wait. called the elephant. Elephant. Well, hello. Look back up. I mean, we'll you're like 21, so yeah, I can imagine that's fine. Just make sure she's consenting. Consensual peanut. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking prick. Fucking <laughs> prick. <laughs> yeah, as long, as long as she's consenting, you didn't throw her in the back of your escape. Exploder. Uh, same vehicle. I mean, I go older, so usually, anyway. I think, anyway, I've done. Everyone I've been after is even a year older or a year younger, so. Anyways. Uh, 
50 percent discount on chassis reinforcement. 50 percent discount on fuel upgrades. I went to Japan in January. Someone got murdered in Shinjuku on the last day. Cool. Shinjuku. This is a full circuit. You know something, Emil? Yes, sir. Um, I was about an hour and forty-four minutes behind. So. What? Yeah. Okay. That <laughs> it was. I'm retarded. No. Well, yeah, her her grandfather's birthday was, is today. The one with the <coughs> Cuda. Ooh, Barracuda. Who's the fuck is eating? The same, the same, the same year as the one that you. I will be. The same year, the same year as the one that you sabotaged earlier in this last play. Sabotage. What did I sabotage? No, you. The Barracuda. Listen, I improved it. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. It needed it. No, you didn't. Um, I mean, I'm not that bothered, Classy, but if you want to, then that's fine. Yes, um, consensual penis. <laughs> Name me one consensual penis. Mine. Oh, before, the one she, that's attached to your leg? And before she looks like a fucking prostitute. <laughs> and before she looks... And before she looks like fucking Barbara Bush. She looks like fucking... She looks like fucking Debbie White. Betty White? Or Betty White. Who the fuck is Debbie White? I'm looking this up. Oh god! Oh yeah. My fucking... That's the most elite my, overtaking the... move you've ever seen. I will not accept anything well, else. My last... My uh, last remaining brain cells decided not work today. Wait, you had... Okay, uh... Debbie White... Debbie White M is M the chief M executive of what? Interserve. Is she old? She's a businesswoman and she's 56 years old. Still yeah, fuckable. That's, that's still, uh. Still fuckable, Emil. Oh, yeah. Real. Reminds me, I should watch some pornography tonight. <laughs> Or she looks like fucking Austin Dillon's girlfriend, i.e. looks like a fucking life-size Barbie doll. No, you. They are plastic. So fantastic. You can brush my hair. She looks like a plastic. Who? Who isn't made out of plastic, let's be real. Uh... NASCAR driver's girlfriend wife, whatever she is. Oh. Probably wife. Uh -huh, look in a minute. <clears throat> Mine Skyline GTR. These oh, big boy. The N stands for NERR. Same. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Bleep. Who the fuck just turned their Xbox 360 on? That was fucking Google. What? Oh yeah, it was Google. <laughs> yeah, that was Google. Okay, Google. Fuck off, you cock. No, you. You used to be able to do that with AK, but he turned it off, unfortunately. Okay, Jokes on you, Tank. She's I have like headphones. Jesus. That's a, being nice about her. Hello, Ginger Nut. How you doing, buddy? Nut! It's a nut that's Ginger. Ginger Nut. <laughs> ginger Nut. It's me! You're not Ginger. Tank. As I is have a Ginger. Question. Do you know anything about rally okay. cars? Uh, what do you want to know? I mean, I know something about rally cars. What's the story about them all? Would you like to know? 
What's the story? Slam into houses. Wow. Tank, why did you have to do that? <laughs> He's just making me want to watch that fucking thing now. <laughs> that uh, fucking video of uh, that's just fucking Subaru in Newfoundland just fucking. <laughs> it's not Newfoundland. No, they run into crowds. Where, where it just fucking ends up underneath the house. Yes. I, I just Wait, love, what video? I, Can someone send me that video? I want. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll oh, do it's it. the best video in the world. It's the way the car crashes just, into the building. It's the yeah. best. He just it just fucking stops like a fucking cartoon. You make it. Nice. <laughs> it goes like clunk or something. Hang. Okay. Yeah. No, it just goes bang. Oh, okay. <laughs> I work at a place called M Sport. They build. Ooh, I've heard of M Sport. They build fast transits and ranges. I know a guy that uh, raced any cars. Will you? So. Will you calm down? Uh. Uh. Sam, I forgot your name. Why do you want me to calm down? It, it's in. It's in response. Oh. <laughs> Proceed to watch the greatest crash of all time. Excuse me. The time where a Porsche mounted another Porsche. No, the that's crash better than that shit. I don't love that. You know what? I relate to that. <laughs> but uh, and then the guy you should get out I watched, and walk off. I watched. I watched the uh, whole thing. There was a very sad part where a S30 Datsun crashed into a dumpster. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I will watch that. That sounds quite funny. What, like that full rally or something? Uh, it was a thing. Well, you probably don't know the show, but there's a show called um, here called uh, Trailer Park Boys. Oh, and oh, I've the, heard of that. And the two of the actors went down to the tar Targa Rally mm. in in Newfoundland. They drove a Porsche Cayman. Oh. Okay, man. Okay, man. I drove a Porsche Cayman today. Don't you that's, just love looking at it? Yeah, there, there was that Subaru that crashed into a house and the S30 when it crashed into a dumpster. Nice. So, what's up now? I was just Every... commenting on how beautiful my Cayman is today. Eh, mm. you lie. I mean, you, you just lie. it is the ugliest car yeah. to go around the... yet. Yeah, the guy. Yeah. Uh, the guy I was friends with in Ontario he used to race uh, Indy Lights. So. Nice. That was the guy with that was the guy with the 600 horsepower Genesis. Oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy. The guy who last time you saw that car it exploded. Yep. Yeah. Or the last time I saw that car. <laughs> he he drove the um, GT500 so. I can't complain. Oh, he's got, why has he got a GT500 in a Genesis? Because the GT500 was him was it built by him dead. Oh, oh, is it an old GT500? No, it's a 2014, I think. Oh, isn't it the Cabrio one? If I remember. Yeah, the yeah. convertible. So, as a, how was your day today? Meaningless. How was yours? It's been very up and down. Very yeah. up and very down. That's not a good thing. I want it to be all up. That's a sign he got a blood job. <laughs> yeah, he ran, he ran Indy Lights for the multi medic team, which runs the Ford GTs. Oh, okay. so. Remember when Forza had that Indy Light car in it for like one game? No. Yeah, Forza 5 had the Infinity Indy Light car in it. No. Oh. Forza 5 also had a random BMW DTM car in it. It had a Ford Coyote Formula One Indy car thing. It had like a bunch of weird cars that never came back. It was very strange. Well, I would like, I would actually like to see the fucking Indy light car back. Yeah, I have no idea why it went. Though. I mean, the DTM car is obvious because licensing and DTM is a cunt now. But uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would have had that supercharged CLK back. Yeah. 
Anyways, 50% discount on flywheel. Because we fly. Oh, we got V8 supercar, so that's okay. Oh, no, she's pretty good looking, classy. Twin ring Modegi. Unlike me. Oh, stop beating yourself up. I mean, I'm only as You're getting as fucked. What more do you want from this world? Mm. Man, I'm <laughs> <ugly> <laughs> as fuck. You're getting I'm a suck and a fuck. Stop. I'm ugly huh? as fuck and I, got, and I got the girl that I got, so. Yeah. I'm happy I have who I have. I'm ugly as fuck and I haven't got anyone. It could be worse. Or you could have that girl that would like to kill you in your sleep, so. No, that's what Emil wants. No, she was like almost married, but almost. Oh, but I almost had. It's a long story. I'm not getting into it on stream. Fuck. Oh, something broke. I mean, also, I don't my know. cat is. So everyone say hi to my cat. Hello, kitten. Remember, usually with this sort of stuff, yeah. life works in mysterious ways. It's usually <laughs> when you stop looking for someone and you'll run into it, so... Yeah. Exactly. Emil is 100% correct. Because I was not expecting to get with who I got with. But I did. Unfortunately, I never stopped. Well, I don't know. I go through phases, to be honest with you. I'm guessing you're in your apathetic, I don't give a fuck phase. Yeah, kind of. Nice. Although I I'm being brought phase. into slightly giving a fuck because of things, but probably not things worth getting excited for. <laughs> <laughs> or, well, actually, to be fair, I'm deconstructing that myself, so. God. I'm taking a hammer and just beating everything out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I went to an Audi dealership too. What? I went to an yeah. Audi dealership too. You, you went to an Audi why? dealership and got it. Uh, I'm not to gonna a... explain why. But... You went into an Audi dealership and got extremely bored. No, there was a, there was a couple of cool things there. They had an Audi R8 in like a turquoise colour, which looked really cool. I just was it a cool R8 or...? It was a go to my... convertible. All right, the new one. I should go to my local fucking. That's acceptable. Cars or dealership and test out the Hellcat. And I will say a couple of things. Mm -hmm. My Why? God, the Audi A1 looks like a Ford Fiesta from the RSN now. And oh my God, the Audi A8 is actually a really good-looking car. <laughs> That's maybe the A8. Yeah, people still buy them. Germans mostly. Imagine being German. Go on, Volkswagen, give us the fate and back down. If you bring a fate out, I promise you I will buy one. I mean, I won't. But, yeah. I did try buying a fate and. Yeah. But I tried buying a Phaeton, I mean, I looked at the insurance, realised, no, and then moved on with my life. But I like the Phaeton. I could, if I was going to buy a Phaeton, I hate to say it, I probably would have ended up with a Diesel. Diesel? But it would have been... But it would have... Wow, the 28. Huh? Fucking the 88 is ugly. Fuck off. <laughs> Here's the thing with Audi. What's with German vehicles and their big fucking mouth? I don't know. I will say, here's the thing with Audi. Audis are mm -hmm. boring, and I will give you that. However, I will say, other than the A1, I can't call any modern Audis ugly. I can call the A8, A8, A8 ugly. Yeah, you just don't like big grills. I've shit. accepted big grills exist. <coughs> The only cars big grills aren't really acceptable on is Lexuses, and they're starting to go away from that now, thankfully. God, Why'd they even do that to what? begin with? I don't know, know but basically Lexus had like a run of making the, their cars the stupid for like three years. 
The worst of it is that he looks to me reminds me of a Persia 308. <laughs> I'm not saying the front end's nice, I'm saying the arse is quite cool. Oh, the arse on it is okay, it looks like a Lincoln, but... Yeah, I know, I quite like, I've got to admit, I quite like that new Lincoln Continental, that's quite a cool car. I wish we got that. I wish I had a life. I wish I was a punk rock girl with flowers in my Fuck hair. Off. In 77, 69, revolution be, was in the air. To be honest, I like I like the new Lincolns. The problem is they're... I forget about them. <laughs> I like the Continental, that's it. I think most of the... Actually, the Navigator's alright as well. The new Navigator. Not... But like that fucking MKZ is atrocious. I don't... I don't think I've ever seen a new Lincoln here. No one's buying them. I mean, the problem with Lincoln is every... Lincoln's got the same sort of issue that modern Cadillac does, where it's like everyone knows it's a Ford, <laughs> and then they're like a hundred thousand dollars for a Ford, and like, no, genuinely, it's a really good car now. It's like I don't care. Mm -hmm. Like, I could buy a hundred grand fucking Lincoln the, Navigator, the... or I could just get a Raptor with a truck bed on it, for like. 60. <laughs> but, but the difference between the, f the Lincoln and Cadillac is that Lincoln has a decent interior. Actually, Scotian question for you, because I don't think I've ever asked you this before. Raptor mm. Fort. They're okay. I really like the I Raptor. like it. I like the first gen Raptors. I, the V8. I prefer the first. Yeah, I prefer the 6.2. Not even just because the engine, I quite like the style of them as well. Yeah, they're alright. I've seen both generations, and they're both alright in the uh, blue color. Mm. I'd have a Raptor if I looked. As bad as that sounds, I'd have a Raptor. I'm five foot six. I need a Raptor. What I want, I want a Rebel. Actually, no. I want the I want the 2014 Power Wagon. If I'm being honest, right? If I lived in America, I have a short list of cars I'd have. I kind of. Yeah. Right. Cause I want a Mercury. I want a Mercury Marauder. Mm -hmm. I want to daily drive a Chevy Caprice Classic. <gasps> a '90s one. <laughs> with the skirted rear wheels, because that car's the coolest thing in the world. I want a Kia K900 because I really like those now. Ever since I saw that Doug the Mirror review, I'm like, that car's actually quite cool. I want two you paces. Saw all works of each you want all of its quirks and features? Yes. I want two Pacers. I want an i6 original Pacer and I want a V8 wagon. Like the mm. late one. I want a Pinto. Gremlin. I kind of want a Gremlin as well. Yeah. Yeah. What else is there? There's a couple of... I want a Raptor. A 2011 Raptor. What about just some obscure shit K-body? No, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Part of me would kind of want like a 77 Eldorado or something, like a massive, like the fucking, another one Doug the Mirror reviewed, that fucking Eldorado, what was it, Baritz or something? I don't know. The one that uh, had like I... literal pillows for seats. <coughs> oh, oh yeah, that Eldorado, I seen. Make sure it's pink. And of course, naturally, nope. and if you haven't got yep. this on your list, you, you're stupid. I'd also want a Lunar APV. What you should yeah, and a fire. What you should, what you should have is a uh, fucking 1977 Lincoln Continental Mark V. I want a seven. I want a 77 Firebird as well, just so I can reenact my inner Burt Reynolds. Because I mean, let's be honest. If you live in America, right? More specifically, if you live near California, you need a fake mustache, a cowboy hat, and an eastbound and down on the radio. I mean, if I wanted a second gen. Firebird, I just get the 1982 Turbo Trans Am. I don't like the front end of those ones so much. The ones with, like, the dug-in headlights. 30% discount on yeah. brakes. Apparently we needed those, judging by what the fucking driver tar just tried to do. I do like the <laughs> rear end more than the 77, though. Can we both just agree on one thing? Hmm? Wingless Firebirds no. are... No. No. Suzuka <laughs> yeah, West. Wingless Firebirds can go away. They just look so weird! <laughs> That's true, they do. Like... It's just, there's just nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a big slope. 
But yeah, classy. She's actually pretty decent looking, I'm not gonna lie. I just noticed he came back, so fuck it. But yeah, hell yeah. I want a Firebird. Is there anything else I'd want in America? I want to be stupid and say I'd want a La Forza, but... I mean, you know what I want if I go to the UK. Go on. The... I want a rover of some some sort. I'm so pleased you said Please rover before it. you said minor, because I was going to hurt you. I still think you should get a Rover 75 V8. That seems like your sort of car. Is that the modular? Yeah, that's the one that's got the modular in it. Yeah. I want the a TVR, uh, either a Serb or a Chimera of the same year. I'm going to fill in some blanks for you. Hmm? You want an MGR V8. Or do you want an MGR V8? Wait, why, why, what are we, what are we huh? talking about now? Scotians cars that you want in the UK. Oh. Four Capri. Yeah. What Capri? Which one? Either Mark One or Mark Three. Yeah. You gotta go for the Mark the Mark Three was like the one my uncle had one of those. The big dick one you wanted. Yeah, my uncle had one. He, he had a two point eight injection. He used to record chart. <laughs> He used to record the fucking top 40 charts onto cassette bit tapes and listen to them, and then someone broke into the Capri one day and stole the cassette tapes. But apparently that car was great, apparently I had to like jump into the windows Dukes of Hazard style to get into it and shit. Mm. Apparently it was like <laughs> literally he bought like a fucking old 2.8 injection Capri for like 250 quid so it was fucked. Yeah. I love also it. Want, also want a Ford Cortina. Yeah. Why not? Why not go full like Lotus Cortina? No, you don't want the first gen Cortina. I bet you want like a last gen Cortina, right? I want the third gen, the one that's like a very small Ford Torino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think those were the ones that had the V6s that everyone pulled out of them for kit cars in like the nineties. That's why there's no Cortinas. Probably. Left. Uh, what else? Do want? You gotta have a mini. No, I don't want a mini. I can't fit in a mini. Exactly, that's the point, that's the fun. <laughs> you rip the front like, seat out and sit on the back seat. I, I'd be like fucking Braun Strowman in a Kia Soul. Actually, mate, <laughs> I've, sweetheart, I've been in a fucking MGB, right? I'm 5'6", so I can barely fit in the passenger seat, so good luck with that. <clears throat> um, It'd be like watching Clarkson fit into that fucking midget he had in that uh, rally car challenge. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like fucking... Jeremy Clarkson for fitting into Ford GT40. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, he can't, can he? No, because no. his because his head is sticking out. That was still the best. Roof. That was still the greatest bit. The new Ford GT is so much better because I can fit. <laughs> because it's Wait, how tall is tall. Jeremy Clarkson again? Six five. Set six uh, five six seven. Yeah. Jesus. He's huge. No. <laughs> You'd think with all the shit that he does, he'd be like six one at this point. <laughs> well, I want a fox on. You do shrink after thirty. I want a fox on Nova for some reason. Ew. Don't you want a fox or Forenza as well? And a Forenza. <laughs> I can. I, I've got to be honest. I can kind of understand the Nova. The Nova's sort of become one of those like fucking cult icons now, where it's terrible, but mm. people really want them. Yeah. What did I see today? I, I saw a want... second gen Fiesta XR2. I was like, oh. I, I want a Talbot Sunbeam. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck finding one, but yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any fucking Talbots are there. Well, it's like a fucking. It's like a Chrysler version of the Chevette. No, we had an actual oh. Chevette. Yeah, the Vauxhall. We had the Vauxhall Chevette. I want the How many of yeah. left? Actually, fun <laughs> fact, the Vauxhall Chevette Red Top, I believe it was called, or like Red Line or something, was the first ever hot hatch. I want I want the uh, uh fifty three horsepower. I want That's the Brazilian more than the warm hatch. I want the Brazilian Chevette. <laughs> oh, oh the GMC. Yeah. I don't remember that, yeah. <laughs> what the GMC? No, they're fucking just Chevy Chevettes that look like Jerry. <laughs> oh. What? What else could you have here? I can't. 
I gotta admit, I kind of like that thing Hammond had in that uh, British car challenge. The Leyland challenge. The, uh, what was it called? The Dolomite. I quite like that The thing. Sprint? Yeah. Morris Marina. Oh, God. No. <laughs> I looked at Marinas for sale recently. Oh, They're, like, still, like, a grand. They're, they're, never, just... they're never getting it. You kind of want an Allegro, admit it. If you're going to get a Marina, you get I an Allegro. Just... Yeah. I don't think, uh, but I don't like the square steering wheel, though. <laughs> Look at this but steering wheel. wheel it's square. And I'd love to be at the meeting where they thought of this. <laughs> so, some man stood up and was like, let's try to put a square wheel in it. And instead of throwing pens at him, the other people just went, hmm, square. square. Good <laughs> idea. <laughs> this is a Morris Marina. It has a round wheel. And I'd love to have been in the meeting where someone stood up and let's, said, Let's put a round wheel in it! Oh, and everyone... <laughs> and I looked... And everyone could have said, Oh, come on, let's put a dodecahedron or something in it. And <laughs> instead like, they went just... <laughs> round. <laughs> the Allegro was meant to represent the fact that we just... That is a fucking triangle. The Allegro was built to represent the fact that we just joined the ELC. It was supposed to be chic and nuanced, like a cappuccino. The Morris Marina oh, was built to represent the fact that we just won the World Cup. So we don't want you. So we don't want your croissants and coffee. We want kidney pudding. Make sure it's cold. I also want a. Have you seen the extended drive. version of that, by the way, Scotian? Uh, I don't think I the one BBC the uploaded version. to their channel. Yes. The one where he met the owners of them. Yes. Oh, and that yeah, guy at the end's just like, he's like, you could have had this, or you could have had this, and at the end the guy goes, I like princesses. And he just turns <laughs> around and he's like, you don't understand the way this works, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I also want a right hand. Hell yeah. I also want a uh, right hand drive Jeep Cherokee. Yeah, those right. exist. Wait, yeah, which the, one? The XJ. Okay, you have to be very specific because one, Jeep Cherokee here is your Jeep Liberty. Yeah, the one that Hammond drove in the last episode. Oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that had the AMC 4 liter in them, still? Yes. Yeah. Well, if I can TJ. The TJ Wrangler had the AMC 4 liter in it until like 2007, so. Interesting thing, actually. I looked on Auto Trader at them recently for some reason. There's actually quite a lot of Grand Cherokees still around, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, the, the boxy ones. They're actually going up in value at the moment, though. The, the, yeah, the classics. The AMC 4 liter stuck around until, like, 2007 when the JK came out. 2007? Yep. Uh, they were called the pa They were called, like, the Power Tech or something, because uh, Chrysler had its hands on it, right? How much power did they make towards the end? Because I know they were like 180 originally. Let me take a look. Because they fucking said high output on them or something, didn't they? Eventually it was just bollocks. Ah! Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I almost died. What did you do now? <laughs> I don't know, I just started coughing. And you didn't die? No. Shit, battle it next time, Azul. They made a one <laughs> We'll then, get them next time. In 2001 to 2006, they made a whopping 190 horsepower and 235 foot-pounds of torque. Wow! I mean, to be fair, wasn't the V6, like... Anyways, West Circuit, Twin Ring Motegi, 10 laps, yay. Wasn't the V6 in those Wranglers, like the 3.7s, only producing like 200 horsepower, though? Well, let's see. The, the it was the JK when they first started the V6. Mm. The 3.6 liter Pentastar and the 3.8 liter Ig Ig6 EGH Ig. Ig. Yeah, the fuck. Ig. I mean, they did they they did code a fucking V6 called Egg, so it yeah. was the parlor. I I I, I, I remember the egg. Yeah, the fucking the Prowler V6. You mean the Chrysler 300 V6? Well, it was in the Chrysler 300, the Dodge Charger, and the Prowler. Eagle. 
always remember the Chrysler 300 was supposed to be an eagle. That was the other car manufacturer that died in like that sort of time period. How much power I finally the remember now thing. the ones that was kind of like Saturn eagle. Oh yeah. Remember the Eagle premiere? No. And the Eagle. I remember the, and the fucking AMC Alliance. And the AMC Renault Le Car. I wonder how many Le Cars are still left in America. I can how see Tank what? driving a Le Car. Uh, just a Renault 5? Yes. The uh, Pentastar made a lot more horsepower than the fucking... How much more? It makes a hundred more horsepower. Wow! Actually, that was kind of impressive, 290. 295, actually. Hmm. Uh... Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. The fucking base charges use the egg engine, actually, just going back to it. Uh, the first generation ones. Hmm. I still like those. Let's take a look at the Ugh engine. So th I'd have a my... first gen charger. Okay, they used the Ugh engine from 2011, 2007 to 2011. Which had a whopping 180 horsepower. Wow. Feel the power. You know, got those at 215 and 245 foot pounds of torque. Wait, Scotian. Hmm? Your English car list missed one key car. What? You didn't mention the Austin Healy Sprite. Yeah, good point. Have you seen how happy the Sprite is? How can you not want a Sprite? <laughs> I love the Sprite. Alright. Yeah. If Scotians, if Scotians done this for England, what sh what region should I do it for? India. Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just do Pakistan and just say you want a Toyota Hilux. No, Pakistan has like the Peugeot Pars. Your Par <laughs> game is weak, dog. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what? You know what? I'm gonna be the guy and do it for Japan. Oh, you should no, not Japan. Japan will take forever. Do China? No. <laughs> you've I got. I've got to be honest. You've got about two and a half minutes because this race is five laps. There's only one car you should have from uh, from Japan, and that's the real the real American. Oh, God. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. Let me let me actually do it. Let Canada, me... go. No. Brooklyn. <laughs> no, we're just Canada is just America with less shit. They make more of their shit though. Like, anyway. Hellcats and shit are made in Canada. Really? I didn't know that. Anyway. The Hellcats made in Canada, the new Ford GT is made in Canada. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Alright. Go, quick. Uh, Rapid fire, go. Oh, God. Uh, Mark III Supra. Yes. Yeah. Ew. Toyota 3000 GT. Er, 2000 GT. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Uh. Mitsubishi GTO. Which one? The good one. Which one? <laughs> the one with the pop-up headlights. Eh. Subaru Impreza Coupe. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just have 1,500 uh, fucking Imprezas. Uh, DR30 Skyline. No, that's cool. Uh, RX-7, because of course. Which one? Yes. A minute ago. <laughs> uh, S-Cargo. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I haven't heard and Midget that'll, 2 that'll yet. Be the, that'll be the daily. I haven't heard Midget 2 yet. <laughs> midget 1. Because three-wheeler. <laughs> There's three Midgets. I know. I mean the midget one. Just get all of them. Sure, why not? Get the midget four. It's just like all and of them. beans. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yes. 
I mean, quite. I, I kind of want a missing cube. I've always wanted a cube, yeah. though. <laughs> yeah. I remember, actually, fun like, fact, every... actually, after the Wendy House episode, I actually did, and as about me up on this, I did actually go on an import site and quickly look at Suzuki Alter lap in turbos. Oh. Yeah. 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 May as well, may as well yeah, add the lap in turbo to the list. Oh, uh, Emil, I forgot, I forgot a car. Oh, no. The Hillman Imp. Yeah. I want an Imp now. <laughs> yes. Actually, don't you want a Mark 1 Escort? That seems cool. And yeah, I, I may as well just add the lap and turbo to the list. Yeah, gotta have a lap and turbo. But everything is in beans. <laughs> See, Japan, I would be here forever because I like I like the micro super turbo and weird shit like that. So. Mm. The micro super turbo is still to this day one of the most fascinating small cars ever made. Midget. Oh, and you know what? I, I may as well add just as like, if nothing else, the Dome Zero. <laughs> But that's a weird where's car. Where's the Daihatsu move Aero Down Custom? Fuck off. I think you mean Aero Down Beak. No, not the Aero Down Beaks. I'm not going to be that harsh to No, what he really wants is the Daihatsu <laughs> Opti. You know, that really fucking sad looking one. <laughs> the car from GT2 that has like either a mustache or a really depressed face, depending on whichever way you want to look at it. <laughs> Why can't it have both? Indeed. Anyways, that's the end of that. 18,500 credits, and the car doesn't get to level 5. Wah, wah, wah. Oh well. Oh well, indeed. Anyways, as the menus load, and we get told to please wait, 29,000 credits. I just realised... This fucking... The poster's in English. The Asian four-wheel motorsport. As opposed to Walt. The Asian five-wheel motorsport? Anyways, <laughs> thank you all very much for watching. Next time, the Asian tour is finished. As we take a look at the Class R2 Asian tour. Join us for that. Until then, farewell.